Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Caldwell Banker Sakamoto Properties. Well, we got another day here, Roy. What are we up to? My husband's here, Roy Sakamoto. Yeah, and here in the studio, we've got Gary, our technician here. The and person that makes it happen. And, and Chris Mr. Meyer. from Meyer Computer. Chris Meyer and his wife, Helen. He is the one that keeps our our real estate business going. It's been phenomenal, yep. the people that have gotten to us by our website. Right, SakamotoProperties.com. Yeah. So you can check that out anytime, SakamotoProperties.com. But it's been really interesting. They've come up with some great ideas for us that I can't tell you on the radio because everybody will copy them. <laughs> but they've been really great and an amazing. It's been, it's been amazing for us. It's been our primary source of leads yeah. for a long, long time. I don't know how many years, but it's probably 20 plus. I don't know. I don't how many know. years, Chris? He doesn't know. None of us know. We know it's a very yeah. long time. Long time. So, And we're lifers in this, so yeah. we are never going to change. Absolutely. He's our man. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a bunch of different things today that we want to talk about. Yeah, how D about that song we were talking about? Yes. yes. Okay. There's a song, and I think we all know it, and I wish that I was someone that could even hum a few bars. Roy might be able to. You know the song, Let There Be Peace on Earth and Let It Begin With Me? I mean, just think about those words. We've talked at different times on the radio over the last many, many months about how there's so many difficult things going on in the world. And you listen to that song and think about it. It's so simple. There could be peace on earth if each one of us allowed it to begin with us. Absolutely. It should be easy. So I just thought if we could pass that message and then if everybody passed that on, I think we could. I mean, it just... There's got to be a way the world changes, and it's got to be each one of us. I think it'll matter. It matters, absolutely. And, uh, you know, obviously we're not a typical real estate show. Uh, we will talk real <laughs> obviously. estate. But, you know, we like to throw in a little tidbit here and there about different things going on. Uh, we're going to have Dr. Norm Esten calling in, and uh, he should be calling in in about 10 minutes or so. He's going to give us more updates. Yeah, give us an update on the COVID and what's happening on Maui uh, and in Hawaii in general and the U.S. and maybe the world. You know, one of the things, again, drifting back to let there be peace on earth, last week we were talking about, for some reason, you know, if we would all just be kind to one another, you know, like you walk by someone on the street, you don't have to know them to say good morning, to kind of give a little something that says hi. You know, it might just be a smile, it might be anything. But I really think, especially for Maui, we've got to all take each of these things to heart and find a way that, and I know Maui is going to be hard for everybody for a while. There's going to be a lot of visitors here. Uh, for some people, that gets a little more difficult. But again, they are our visitors and they do a lot for our island in many, many ways. So I think we've got to you know, smile at everybody. You know what's going to help now is um, now that we don't have to wear masks outside. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, uh, last week we could have smiled and nobody knew it. That's right. <laughs> and I think that is funny when you think about it. Yeah. There's somebody in here right now with a mask on that we could say mask off. But I really do think that the mask off is a good thing because you do see someone smiling. And sometimes for the year now or how long it's been, you at least could see somebody's eyes smile. And the eyes do smile, but let's all do it. Let's all remember to be kind, say hello to someone, no matter who they are, no matter what religion, what color, what nationality. Um, let's all remember it. We got, let's be friends to everybody. And it doesn't take very much. No, absolutely. And as we slowly get back to normalcy, it's, um, it's going to be great. You know, now that restaurants are, I think, up to 50% mm -hmm. occupancy. I think it's 50. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll have a passport uh, for those vaccinated to be able to freely travel within Hawaii uh, and in and out of Hawaii. I think that would help everybody a lot, just to be able to do a little bit of something. But there's still a lot to do here. And as long as we have some freedom, and I, it does seem to go out to dinner, now, we're that age group where people eat earlier anyway, 
However, you pretty much have got to do 4.30 now. We used to think <laughs> 6 was good. But now if you want to go out to dinner and you want a reservation, it's almost 4.30 or you don't get to do it. Well, with reduced capacity and all, yeah, it's hard to get reservations. It is. Yeah. We were supposed to have um, Elizabeth Quayle here today. She was going to be with us but had a little bit of a car problem and uh, just kind of had some interesting thoughts on her brain. So I think she'll come back in two weeks and kind of have yeah, a little good. bit of a moment with us. But Elizabeth, if anyone you know is looking for her, she can be reached at 808-276-6061. Okay. Okay. So if you need Elizabeth, that's where you find her today. Right. And speaking of restaurants, um, we, we touched on, I think, the last show, some of our favorite restaurants. Yes. You want to do a quick recap? Well, of course, for me, Hono. Honu. Yeah. Honu is fabulous, and everybody knows where it is behind Safeway on the ocean. Spectacular. And Frida's right there. Yeah. Uh, both the, the best food, the ahi bruschetta from Honu is like my all-time favorite food. I could eat it three times a day. Yeah. And, well, two maybe. But, yeah. you know, anyway, it is. Everything in there is fabulous. The, the help there, the waiters, the, everybody that's in there, they're happy, and they're happy to be working and happy to taking care of you spectacular restaurant oh no question absolutely Perfect place to take any client yeah any friend family and you can see actual honu right in front of you oh that's the real spectacular thing a lot of turtles thing. out there they are amazing yeah but frida's also same thing yeah uh, and right next to that is uh, mala mala oh. has been there for also forever the three restaurants in a row they're all really spectacular yeah. another favorite roy's roy's in Kaanapali. And then we're kind of liking, and this one kind of steps it up quite a bit, but the montage, really, for anybody, yeah, for Kane a special canoe, event, Cane right. and Canoe, really great place to go. Anything at the Ritz-Carlton, they've got their breakfast opened up again, and breakfast at the Ritz, you know, none of it's inexpensive, but it's so fun, and they're so happy. It's like cheers. They're glad you came. <laughs> and they're, and they're going to know your name when you come back again. So any of these places, no. they're so good at it. No, lucky we live Maui. Lucky we live Maui. Yeah. It is spectacular. Sure, absolutely. So are we going to think real estate? Are we going to? Yeah, as we wait for Dr. Eston to call in. Um, he might want to check in. You know, it's yeah, the real estate market has been kind of interesting. Um we had no idea this was going to happen. The market was going to go crazy during a pandemic, uh, but it has gone crazy. And um, interest rates are still low. It's a great time to buy still, even though inventory is low and prices are up. Uh, they're not going to come down. So, um, you know, for guidance, um, and we'll talk about some properties, but for guidance, uh, feel free to call Roy at 808 870 7060 or Betty at 808-870-7062 or check our website sakamotoproperties.com You can get actually you can get into our website sakamotoproperties.com and find anything that's in the multiple listing service so you'll be able to find our listings and everybody else's listings Anything on Maui in Maui County uh, Lanai, Molokai if that's your market that you're interested in. Um, so come on to sakamotoproperties.com. And I think you'll find whatever it is you need. Or if you're not finding it for some reason, give us a call. And I think the numbers are easy to find. And you'll find those no matter what at the same website, sakamotoproperties.com. And talk with Elizabeth Quayle is also usually available. Uh, the 808-276-6061. Uh, Casey Fukuda, um, you know, so there's a number of different people that are in our office at Kapalua all the time. Somebody's there every day starting at 8 o'clock, sometimes earlier. Um, defi well, I guess 8. Yeah. Um, so here's, um, here's a great listing to start off. It's uh, a fairly new listing. It's only been on for about 10 days. It's at 79 Kahana Ridge Drive. It's listed by Peggy Lynn Speicher out of uh, the Kapalua office of Kowal Banker. Uh, her number is 
79 Kahana Ridge Drive is a four bedroom, three baths, uh, a little over 2,300 square feet with uh, just under 6,000 square feet of land. It's in the uh, really popular Kahana Ridge subdivision. It's listed at a million four fifty, a million four fifty, and uh, I mean sales have been really brisk at Kahana Ridge. It has been a, an amazing location, and I know Peggy Lynn has been having open houses there off and on. But I think again, you've got the number in front of you, Peggy Lynn. Do you want to say it one more time? Yeah. Because she'll, she, if she isn't having an open house, I think she's been able to show it fairly freely, and I think it will sell pretty fast. Oh, no question, absolutely. Uh, Peggy Lynn is 808-495-3525. So uh, give her a call to look at 79 Kahana Ridge Drive. Another one that I like, uh, Marcy Rohde has a new listing, or relatively new. It's been on the market for uh, definitely over 30 days, and it should end up selling fairly quickly. 13 North Peaky Place in Kanapali Hillside. Again, great development. It has a fabulous pool in good shape. You know, it's, it's owner-occupied, so we are able to show it fairly quickly. Uh, Marcy can be reached at 808-280-2255. So that's another one. And we may be getting Norm, Dr. Norm Esten on the phone right now. So let's see what Dr. Norm has. Hey, Norm, here we are again. Looking to get hey, some. Hey, good afternoon, Betty, and Aloha from West Maui. Aloha, Norm. How's everything over there? Everything is good, but we're talking. We did talk about you a little while ago, and hoping to get information on. One of the things that I think I'd love to hear a lot on is the encouragement, as you always do, for someone who has not been vaccinated, but filling us in on how how we're doing. You know, with the COVID. We know you've got Terrific. the answers. Well, we're, you know, we're overall we are doing great. It's great news. Hawaii is consistently in the top ten states in the whole country, and in some categories, number one or number two in terms of the percentage of people in various age groups who've gotten either one or two of the vaccinations. And this is great because we now know, of course, the only way to prevent getting COVID or prevent spreading it is to get the vaccine. There's nothing else that's going to work, and there's no cure. And the only way to be sure and get life back to normal is to get the vaccination. We also know now pretty definitively that uh, after 1.8 billion injections have been given around the world, and again, there's wow. almost 8 billion people here, 7.8 billion people in the world, so 1.8 of them have gotten at least one vaccination. Uh, and not one person, not one person who's gotten the vaccination has died. And, and very, very, very rarely has anybody who's gotten the vaccination got any kind of sickness. So, um, so basically getting vaccin vaccinated protects you uh, from any of the bad problems. You're not going to die. You're not going to get the long COVID, which is the long acting version that is probably getting one third of the people now. Uh, and the vaccines that we have are active against the new variants that everybody's heard of that are coming from uh, Africa, India, or Brazil. So the vaccines now are safe and effective and easy. Um, they're uh, available lots of places. The pharmacies have them. Uh, doctor's offices have them. We're having the last Department of Health uh, big immunization tomorrow at the University of Hawaii Maui uh, campus on Kamehameha. Uh, but there's always going to be vaccines available. Doctors on call offices everywhere have them every day. Uh, most doctors' offices have them. And we're still recommending the two-shot Moderna one. That's you get one and then you get one about four weeks later. Or the Pfizer one, you get one and then one three weeks later. And there's also a single-dose Johnson & Johnson that's available a lot of places as well. And so, again, these will prevent you from getting sick. They'll prevent you from uh, having to be in a hospital. Uh, if you do get exposed to somebody, you will not have to quarantine, whereas now if you're not vaccinated and you get exposed to somebody, you have to quarantine for 10 days. You'll be able to go inner island uh, without having a test. Uh, you'll be able to go to large public events. You'll be able to go to gatherings. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, one so, thing for uh, anyone who doesn't know, Doctors on Call is located in the shopping center right 
as you leave Kanapali or on the right right there in Kanapali where Times Supermarket is, they have a great office there, and they have a brand new office at in Wailea at the shops. Spectacular! It's like state of the art, beautiful, well taken. You know, great employees there, great medical employees. So both of these places, Norm, anybody can come now to get vaccinated or for a medical service. Well, thanks so much for the kind words, Betty. I think the, the, we're feeling very good in the county. Uh, I think the governor um, wants to treat every island and every county the same now. As you know, we've had different policies for testing and screening on Kauai and the Big Island of Maui. And now the governor wants to have it all be the same. Uh, he's ready to loosen up the restaurant seating uh, capacity uh, restrictions um, as soon as we have a few more percent vaccinated uh, and uh, some of the travel restrictions are going to be lifted fairly quickly I think as well so uh, we're going to get life back to normal if a large number of the people that haven't gotten vaccinated and that's some of our listeners out there who are still on the fence uh, and now they can realize hey this is a safe vaccine we haven't had any problems with it it's time for me to go ahead and get vaccinated. And we're starting to see these people come in every day, which is great. There's a tremendous uh, sense of relief in them after they get a vaccine. They finally feel safe. They don't have to worry about going out or doing anything. Uh, it's uh, pretty amazing. So uh, we're turning this around, and fortunately, in Hawaii. Unfortunately, in this country, we're a lot better off than a lot of countries. As you know, there's uh, some giant outbreaks in India. A lot of Asia is closed because of the Indian variant. Uh, there's a resurgence in France. Um, this resurgence in South America and Africa. Uh, China is producing a lot of its vaccine and selling it to third world countries. So it's going to be a couple of years until the rest of the world gets it together. But in the meantime, we have a chance to get life back to normal here. We have a lot of visitors coming in from the United States. We don't have international visitors yet because they can't travel, but They'll be able to in a few months. So we're slowly getting things back to normal. Well, praise all good news. the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. And we were all earlier d talking very seriously when you before you got on about the song, Let There Be Peace on Earth, Norm. And it's something that you would love to hear about. You know, our point is that we really need to have peace on earth. We really need to help everybody in India and around the world and support that. And the point of the song was, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. And Norm Eston is someone who has made his career these days out of seeing to it that people understand what's going on with the coronavirus, that they were able to get tested and now that they're getting vaccinated. And he is almost, well, not I'm sure single-handedly, but I'm going to say in my world, it appears to me he has single-handedly taken a huge amount of worry out of the whole vaccine about the uh, coronavirus, et cetera. So he's a person that lets it begin with him. Yeah. Well, thanks for your kind words, Betty. I think, you know, the message is um, we all want to be safe and uh, we're starting to realize uh, none of us can be individually totally safe until we're all safe. And that means none of us are protected until we're all vaccinated. So uh, that's the big message. Um, again, this is a virus that's in the air. Uh, it spreads around the world whenever it wants to, and uh, there's no treatment for it other than the vaccine that prevents it. So um, we can't all individually feel safe and comfortable until we're all vaccinated. And it's, it sounds perfect. Uh, again, an example of it's one world. It is one world. Is, is, you know, there, we, is there any cost for those that have been unvaccinated to come in and get a vaccine shot, Norm? No, it's fantastic. The vaccine is free, totally, provided by the federal government. Uh, and all the research costs have been borne by the federal government. And uh, all the insurance companies are waiving the copay, so there's no charge, regardless of whether you're insured by HMSA, Medicare, UHA, Kaiser, it doesn't matter. And even if you have no insurance, there's no charge for it at all. That's so huge. Yeah, no that's cost great. huge. That's huge. It's just absolutely huge. You know, now, actually, there probably will be no. a there probably will be a booster, uh, which is another question, uh, in November or December, 
because there's been some change in the virus, and so we're all going to need to get one booster in another six or eight months to get fully protected. And we may need it every year like we get a flu shot, but that's down the pike here. And again, that'll probably be free and available at every doctor's office. Perfect. We now have hit, though, the five-minute warning mark. So we're going to try to throw out a few additional uh, real estate items for people so that our doors will be flooded when we get back to the office. (laughs) Sound okay? (laughs) Wonderful. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Norm. We'll see you later. Aloha. Thank you, Norm. So I think back to a few of our things here, but again, the same thing real estate-wise. It's a great time to be buying. Uh, Prices in many cases are up, but I think by the time you take that and look at the current interest rates that I don't think we will see lower again for a long time, even though right now I think they've bounced down a tiny bit again. Yeah. Uh, but Not it much. is a great time. You know, and they've stabilized, right? I think they've stabilized. Prices, again, what you said before is true. They have been up, but I think there's still some really great value for owner occupants in everything that you do. Yeah, whether it's owner occupant or investor or whatever, it's a great time to buy. And, uh, you know, again, um, Come on to our website, sakamotoproperties.com, uh, or give me a call, 870-7060, or Betty at 870-7062, and um, we'll, we'll point you in the right direction. We'll certainly help you. We can, we can help you in a lot of different ways. You know, some of our listings, like Maui Kai, really great building, something that's used primarily for second home or maybe even more rentals. Yeah, vacation uh, rentals. Vacation rentals. Great location. But we can, in our office, have somebody that can work with you on that and help you figure out a way to make a purchase that'll be for a second home or a vacation rental or a home that might have a an ohana that will help you uh, with it. So let us talk to you. And again, Roy, 870-7060. And I can be reached at 870-7062 and our website, sakamotoproperties.com. Prepared by Chris Meyer, Meyer Computer. Computer. And it has been one of the easiest, most functional, which is acknowledged by many people that come on our site and stay. They sign in. We don't bother anyone that's signing in on our website. We figured that they came on. We know that the person's been on our site but we are not someone that's all over them. We're hoping that you'll call us to talk about real estate, but unless it's someone that we've kind of known, we do our best. Now we're two-minute warning. Yeah, but, you know, by coming to SakamotoProperties.com, again, like Betty says, we won't be bugging you, Uh, but if you have any questions, you can use the link there to email us questions. Uh, You can stay anonymous or whatever, but uh, we're here to help. And we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. So again, we end up the show with Danny Couch again and I Love Hawaii, which is kind of one of my all-time, all-time favorite Hawaiian songs. Danny's music is available at anywhere that you would buy music. We've gotten some things off and on, even from Amazon.com. But Danny Couch is one of the top, top Hawaiian musicians as far as I'm concerned. And here we are. Yep. I Love Hawaii. Thank you for listening today, and we will see you in two weeks. Aloha. Aloha.